against Larry's uh, Falco. Glasses off, everybody. Because uh, they are hurting. But. <laughs> yeah, Larry having a good time. So, Charlie looking like he has, he's having pretty, a pretty good time as well. Like, both players uh, laughing. Both shared a uh, main in the beginning. And both of them aren't using their primaries. I don't think either of them wants a uh, wolf ditto right now. But, Larry, on the on the Falco, yet again against Charlie's uh, sheep. Not, didn't work. Um, it was a close game five, but uh, Charlie there was, was. Was. Yeah, this is a new set, new game. New game, new rules, new life, new meaning. You up throw new nair. You, you up tilt you, you dare? <laughs> Are you bear? <laughs> like, Right, I'm, I'm going to apologize preemptively. I am a little exhausted. I also apparently had a shot um, as a celebratory with Larry, and that went through me a little bit too well. <laughs> so I will do my best. I apologize ahead of time. But what a lightweight! I had a drink. I had a drink during my set, and I still did all right. I'm gonna excuse myself because I have no carbohydrates in my body. So let's go into the game <laughs> yeah. because uh, we'll see how much Charlie is doing because he has all the carbohydrates in his body, all the energy he needs to go with the Sheik and get the new Iron Punch. Ooh, I, off the stage. Yo, that was unfortunate for uh, Charlie because he looked like he could have got something, but uh, he whiffed and Larry whiff punished him with the down tilt and connected the bear on the landing. Down tilt almost gets that sweet spot of smash. Definitely knew that Larry was going to try to land on the platform, so Charlie trying to make an early call up there. <laughs> I do like that one thing oh, is that cross up coming for Charlie. The cross up was really good, but the one thing that Charlie is really doing here is that he goes for a move and he immediately covers the option after the threat. If he misses the up air, he goes like, he fast falls immediately into the down tilt, knowing that Larry's trying to go for another option. He covers moves with another moves essentially, mm. or as the scrub player would say, it, he presses buttons. Yes, he does press a, a, a few a few buttons. Maybe one too many, but like he's kind of pressing buttons that he feels like would be safe, you know. Mm -hmm. Larry nearly going for the high oh, he jump. Went the and he, and that's gonna be still fine for Charlie because he has a great recovery with Sheik. Even though Sheik got most of her toolkit removed, she has, still has a great recovery overall. Mm -hmm. how, how, how bad could it be? Let's be real. Gets the uh, forward tilt into the nair, almost gets the thing on the platform here. The one thing that Charlie. Yo, what a read! He saw that coming from a mile away and he just held yeah. that up smash forever. And it's the fact that Charlie went for that kind of get up up there and he gets a sweet spot up smash. Mm -hmm. And now. Ne um, we're both at even one stock, but Larry getting with the rapid jab. Charlie's um, like kind of showing him away with these forward tilts. And now Charlie has the advantage, but now Larry getting him with the up tilts himself. Racking up all this damage. And, and now, man, actually both players going back and forth, hitting each other. Oh, there's the down tilt, catching him with an air. And he got him with the uh, needles. And uh, Is that the stock? No, he was... He got him at the bottom of the blast zone, it looked like it <laughs> And I feel like all these players have been surprising me, and there's the up tilt to bear, yet again from uh, Larry Larry, his go-to confirm. Yeah, it's been pretty good for Larry. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it really hit Sheik really hard because of her weight, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, but nonetheless, like one thing that we Sheik still has is her power over a lot of the spaces. That's where she really excels. So, for Charlie, that's where she requires the offstage play. He's been pretty reluctant with those nares, those um, those forward airs when he catches his follow ups there. So for Charlie, that's the aim of the game here, is really just catching those spaces off stage. Larry with the first point of the board on the loser set of grand finals. Yeah, but like when I was talking to Charlie earlier, he was telling me how Falco's a bit harder to um, edge guard against compared to the other spaces because of how like powerful that second jump is. He, he can mix up with going with a high recovery and like maybe go for the Phantasm. Mm -hmm. Or like if he goes low, he could just snap to the ledge. And, but right now, both players going back and forth yet again. And like I feel like they've been go they've been doing this this in like both sets. And now, ooh, Charlie getting him with a great percentage combo on, like off the bat. And has it coming from Larry, and he's being it. And now he has this uh, pressing of this advantage. Drag down on the fair. Oh, but he trades with the he traded with the Firebird, and Charlie missed the tech, unfortunately, and he loses the stock for it. It's the neutral air, putting Charlie a little bit towards center stage. Gets that forward air. See, uh, the one thing that I did like is that Larry's looking to see his reaction right there on the platform, so he could react to it. He could have gone for an up air, could have gone for possible up tilt. All right, moves back. Charlie calls oh, the off the roll. Fish. 
That was a really good option too, because Larry was kind of on the defensive after that roll. Mm -hmm. And now Larry's got uh, hit him with the rapid jab off stage, and he got the spot dodge on the bouncing fish, but he couldn't really um, uh, punish it. Kind of unfortunate for him. And now uh, Charlie's pressing his advantage. Oh, this is not where you want to be. Oh, good needles, no! and he almost. <laughs> Yo, Larry able to actually power through Charlie on that one. I like the fact you went for needles. And he oh no, and there's a forward smash getting the um, the attack it up. Yeah. Yeah, but that's one thing that Larry's been doing is calling Ch Charlie his normal guy. Well, that was it, like I felt like he was kind of trying to react. I mean, trying to punish Larry for hitting him earlier. But Larry just spaced that absolutely perfect. Oh, there's the off smash. He's. <laughs> I feel like both players have been really sensing themselves on the platforms, especially in this matchup here. That's what PS2 kind of does to a lot of characters, right? Like Charlie won that sweet spot off smash, and they really came clutch for him in that situation. I'm missing that Larry did not go for a tech. And that's what it's coming down to is if you don't tech, you're losing more than your life. You're losing a lot of momentum and the stock as well. Yeah, and he, he missed the tech, but he went for the neutral getup, right? But Charlie was like, oh, I'm going to hold this forever. Just yeah. Got him, oh, but that's the end of the to up air, and Larry bringing it up 20 in a handshake currently against Charlie. Possibly putting into us in a bracket reset situation there. And this is a set point for Larry and Charlie. Mm-hmm. Let's see how Charlie's going to, like, bring this back he's been um he's kind of looking a little shaky right now like it looked like it was more back and forth than winners finals but larry f feels like he's uh found some new footing unless um charlie's need to find needs to find a way to like regain his momentum that, that he had earlier like i felt like in game one he had these um he had larry off stage and he kind of flubbed like at, toward the end, right? Like he definitely looked like he was gonna get that game, but like once he got hit by the fire and the fire bird, it, it kind of went downhill for him. Yeah. All right, well, Charlie is in the west back in action, just trying to get in. He gets hit by both of those lasers, and immediately runs in with a grab. I like the situation because he doesn't want the lasers to phase him at all. He just knows I have to put in all this pressure to Falco, put him off the stage, just like that. Go for the neutral, trying to set the high recovery there. I'm sorry, the low recovery. Yeah. Get that one. Yeah, actually, Charlie throwing out these nares to cover these get up attack and these uh, jump get ups coming up from Larry. And that was a read coming up from Charlie, but um, Larry being smart and hovering off stage. It was a really good mix up from Charlie this situation because he, oh, no. he wanted to condition Larry to get used to the up smash, and at that situation, he landed on the stage and he almost got Larry from the air dodge too, as well. So it was a really good mix up. Unfortunately, did not pay off. Getting hit by the back hit him there and putting Larry back on the stage, charging oh. that forward smash. Charlie evens up the stock with him at a quick pace. Yeah. And like, once again, Larry is just so solid on getting these up to, the, to bears. He's been he's been doing it all day, actually all day. <laughs> and like once he, I feel like he's been catching way too many people like on their land, like on landing on top of them. Yeah. And they, like once he's able to get that forward to the bear, it like it kills so early. Mm -hmm. And especially on these all these fast fallers that he's been playing against. I respect the that. The phantasm. I do respect that from Charlie though, because he was going for a down tilt at the ledge, and that definitely would have kept the probably two frames. That would have left another follow up for Charlie, but that, that situation, Larry just kind of powered through with the Phantasm and able to go over and get a confirm. Man, and it's been a, a little bit unfortunate for Charlie. And this game, this is not looking like Charlie said. Oh my god, he had the read yet again, but just once again a twist of fate coming in for uh like against Char charlie yeah he's always just a hair close to it but he hasn't been able to get down till into up air charlie takes the time to charge needles pretty good play here because it does give him projectile reads the platform mining with the back air gets the needles and the oh, bouncing no. fish oh but, but he, yeah, he's dead he, oh he's not dead no he's not dead. oh but oh, there's there the is. bear that, well, that's the situation where, like, fair isn't as strong as it used to be yeah. at all. So it's not going to kill, but it would have it definitely put Larry in a sour spot to come back and allow Charlie to go for that and punish him down the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there is, like, the bear yet again. Oh, that was scary. But iframes, bro. Yeah. Iframes are still good. And there's the up tilt to bear yet again from a mean from Larry. It's the classic death combo. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm really reading up that situation. It's the classic death combo. Mm -hmm. And Larry resets the bracket. 30 and a handshake against Charlie. Pretty good pretty good overall from Charlie, though. A lot of attempts, like you said, it was a lot of unfortunate things going on for Charlie where you try to go for some mix-ups mm -hmm. and some combos, but, like, Sheik's tool toolkit really just doesn't really feel like it's there at that point. Yeah, it, I just feel like it, it's just been a lot of unfortunate, like, situations for Charlie. But now both players are in the loser side of the bracket on this grand, on this grand finals. So, 
Crowley's gonna need to find some way to regain all his momentum back because that was not the f that that set that first set in Grand Finals was not really looking too good for him. Mm -hmm. It's a full jab with Larry in shield. Larry gets a classic up throw to up air, decent combos. When we talk about combos and percents here, that's the one thing that, if, for lack of a better term, it feels cute when you get hit by shield. Mm -hmm. Right? She's putting in that percent here, but Falco, what she does, Falco does in two seconds. Yeah. Like, Falco's damage output, it looks like it's monstrous compared to Sheik's, but yeah. like, it looks like Charlie is has so much... Oh, momentum! And speaking of momentum, he got that up snatch perfectly. It's, it's the question here if for Larry and Charlie is, how comfortable are you landing on the platforms? Mm -hmm. That's what it comes down to, right? And Charlie knows that Larry's feeling so safe with the platform when you have the rest of the stage to play with. Mm -hmm. So he's picking that option there, and Charlie makes the call every single time. Yeah. Well, both these, um, I feel like Falco's aerial drift isn't all too great. Oh, and there's a raid. And I have, I feel like he, he, he was like a, on the next chapter on, on Charlie, you know? Yeah, and speaking of the next chapter, that's what it played out for Sheik, right? The previous chapter, Sheik had a lot of really good range of forward air. The next chapter, Sheik's forward air isn't as big as it used to be. Mm -hmm. So that's what kind of what Charlie did from the ledge. He wanted to go for forward air, but unfortunately it wasn't going to reach, and Larry got the right read on that one. He knows that Charlie is really content with trying to go for that classic Smash 4 option and calling it out. Mm -hmm. A double laser right there. Like Charlie said that was, was a pretty tilting move because like it makes you like it, it makes you just stand still, right? You you have to like wait. Like do I have to shield now? Do I have to jump over it? Yo, that was, I'm so sorry. That was like a Pichu combo. That was at the yeah. downer at that percent. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! Please stop. That bear's not gonna kill just yet, and he just aggressively goes for the dare. Yeah. Oh. Like it, like it, he gets the forward air, drifts back, and trying to find a different option. He probably could have gone for a grab of that situation. I do like how Charlie sees the, how his options can go from from forward air and to see what he can respond afterwards. Mm -hmm. So to speak, testing the waters. Yeah. Ooh, actually, that was uh, ambitious of Larry. He just walked, he ran up, and then he went for the up tilt, trying to get him with the bear. But now this is a kind of scary situation for Charlie because he still gets up with the up tilt. Is there up air? No, he bouncing fishes away from it. And that's one thing that I do like that Charlie is now acknowledging. Up tilt to up air, that's been killing me. Up tilt to back air, that's been killing me. What can I do instead of trying to land on the same spot using bouncing fish? And that's something that Larry should take out of Charlie's book. I can use side B to get away from the sweet spot from up smash when I get to trying to go back to the platform. Mm -hmm. That's that situation that both players are trying to understand here in that oh. down tilt to up air. Charlie takes the stock. Yeah. Well, even if, like, Charlie bouncing fishes really punish it all too well. It's kind of hard if you're a bit up there. Mm -hmm. And like once, as I said before, off of aerial drift, not too great. And he needs to find a way to get that read. Up throw to Nair, solid combo, 33%. Right? And when we talked about earlier, like, she just feels really cute when she gets to the floor, I tell because she's barely putting on the percent. Mm -hmm. Four throw, bouncing fish, not a classic combo anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there, like, there's this damage coming in from Larry, just hitting him with these rapid jabs as a way to, as a means to punish whatever um, Charlie's doing at him. And oh, got the drag down, but now, ooh, I felt like that that full hop was a bit of an accident. Up tilt to bear, not gonna connect. Ooh, he was actually, if you saw Larry, he kind of stood there expecting Charlie to like roll in and trying to hit him and trying to punish accordingly. And there's the up tilt to bear, and that's gonna be the stock yet again. I feel like that's like, I've said that like a million Sorry. times. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's because it's been happening a million times, right? <laughs> up to like, up to the back air at that situation. For Larry, he knows that that confirms. Gonna really work at that point on Charlie, and he hasn't been doing much to get away from it. One thing he does is acknowledge it, for sure. Like, he, and Charlie at this point, four games in, he knows that's what Larry's doing. So, we were able to see some adaptation when he went for the bounce to get away from it. At that point of the percents, it felt like it was more true. No, like, no, there is, like, a lot, like, most of the time, it has been completely true. And, yeah. like, if if it doesn't, like, completely connect into the the bear, sometimes it'll just connect to a back air, mm -hmm. into an up air. And, like, that's been killing Charlie as well. So it's, like, one of those deals where, like, all that Larry's have to do is read the DI, right? Is he going to just stand there, or is he going to try to DI away from it, and then I can hit with back air? Mm -hmm. Alright, goes for the dash attack into leading the platform landing into the up tilt. Larry was like, still, both players with great calls in the platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Charlie actually opting to use his main. Yeah, of course, Charlie has talked about how he switched over to Wolf. Uh, definitely playing off from a lot better. I do see the dash attack coming in, but it doesn't play out well. The forward tilt will definitely take the stock at that percent. Mm -hmm. And like that's set, and that's kind of like the new things, the new tool that Larry has to deal with, right? The range of Wolf and like how massive that bear is. 
Okay, gets the forward air. Right, the Wolf got the better of Sheik's forward air for sure. Mm -hmm. And that double hit from the laser. Really clean coming in from Charlie. Yeah, and for but those of you guys wondering, the double hit from laser means that he got hit close range. The bayonet is also a hitbox. Mm -hmm. You're really close to you. You'll get hit by both of the laser and the bayonet. Charges the down oh, smash. Nope. I don't oh, like and it. they just went for the up smash immediately after. Because he had hit. Literally, it would have called out a roll. Roll get up. Roll mm -hmm. get up and possibly jump get up as well. Yeah. Oh, and there's another up smash. Just uh, how to shield that time. And that was just fast enough to punish practically everything. There's a dash attack. Not going to connect to anything. Ooh, dares and very ambitious coming in from Larry. Good patience from Charlie Knight. He's only getting up, just trying to understand what Larry might be looking for. So, mm, good uh, patience uh, too, because he would have looked to call Larry's possible to get in, but his jump option or either his roll option. Oh, the fork, so. And now, now Larry's in that situation of, what do I do? How, how am I going to close this stock off? Like, I really haven't been able to close. I haven't really been able to land up till this wall. And that's not gonna kill because he had to go for the he had to go for the up air instead of the back air. But there's the fair coming in from Larry, and that's gonna take up the stock. All six hits, man. It really hurts when they connect all of them. It ends up killing Charlie at that point. Mm -hmm. Good spot dodge coming in from Larry, and he's been actually doing that quite a bit. Actually, he's been waiting like he's been punishing like people jumping into him and then yeah. just rapid chapping. It's it's really good because you are getting a whiff punish, and at that situation, that's what Charlie wants to go in, right? Mixing probably getting a tomahawk grab, I'm getting a neutral air. Could be going for a oh, that's not what smash. he wanted. Oh, that's not what he wanted to do. That's that. Not what he really wanted to do. <laughs> and Charlie sees the sin and he convinces the punishment. So that one, Charlie putting a point on the board in grand finals reset. Excuse me, sir. You needed to jump earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. he went for the dare. He's like, oh no, nah. I didn't want to press that. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to press the jump first. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like, yeah, Larry has a Pichu. <laughs> no, he don't. Maybe he does. You Who know knows? what though? When it comes down to like, for anybody at home watching or rewatching the VOD, definitely if you're having trouble with a character, pick up the character that you're losing to and see what they do. See what they do in advantage, disadvantage, and why you're winning and losing with the character. It helps you understand the character in a wide variety for sure. Mm -hmm. Charlie adapted with um, the Sheik and uh, thought maybe the longer hitboxes from Wolf are gonna help me out more. Yeah. You don't really have the raw kill power that Wolf has, like I said, right? Sheik's, Sheik's damage in this game feels cute, according to Falco's, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that down tilt, disgusting. And there's the dare. Wow, just a great commitment coming up from Charlie. He had nowhere to go, especially for Larry when he just dipped down, right? In that situation, Charlie's gonna call that out. Oh, man, the fair ten there. And he got him with a forward smash, and that was clean. Coming in from Charlie the King. Real <laughs> <Yo>, man bars. <laughs> Real talk bars. Down throw into almost. I feel like he missed him, but he wanted to get that dash attack on that one. Mm -hmm. And now Charlie's juggling him with these up airs. Ooh, trying to get him with the up air too. Dare not gonna connect. And Larry throwing him out. No dare. No, he's not gonna do anything. He's not gonna go for anything over committal. There's a down tilt coming in from Larry. Trying to find. He's trying to read Charlie's drift in, but there's the roll get up from Charlie, and then Larry will punish that one accordingly. Yeah, for now, right now in this matchup, it feels like Falco really is the wingman <laughs> between the Star Fox characters. I'm leaving. <laughs> I was gonna say like he, he feels like he's the wingman here because Wolf has definitely taken the charge over this one. Gets the forward tilt Falco in a tough position there. I feel like Charlie could have called out with a down smash. Oh, jab, reset. Oh, but he accidentally finished off the um, rapid jab, and he could have got a bigger punish, but. Oh, I he parries I, I, all the hits from there. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna go for the multi parry? Yo, man, the Daigo. <laughs> yeah, that that Evo sixty, like Evo sixty four. Uh, Evo moment sixty seven. Sixty seven. Oh, yeah. Man, get my numbers wrong. My bad. Yeah, and now up throw. Not gonna connect to anything else. Ooh, that's a ambitious like recovery, but that. Had so much shield stun. Oh, the and reason? there's the up tilt. Bear. Oh, bear. Oh, man, and I, we've seen this time and time again. <laughs> like, <laughs> but now we know Larry's definitely showing the audience as well, and especially us, right? Like, that percent, that will work. Yeah. So that's one thing that Charlie has to factor into. At what percent am I getting hit by down tilt? And for Larry, when he was going for down tilt at the ledge, he stopped going for down tilt because he knew if Charlie was going to go for the wolf flash, it might have actually sweet spot. That's what we saw the shield stun there. Because Larry adapted to that situation, gets all the hits of forward air, putting Charlie off the stage. Yo, that laser could have been a weird, like, momentum shifter for Charlie. And now this is really scary for Charlie. Oh my gosh, the wall jump into the air dodge onto the ledge. 
I like that Charlie was looking more for the spacing at the ledge rather than to over the raw. No, 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 no. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. No, you don't want to be there though. Yeah, what the heck? He was a mile away. He was so far down. Yeah, that, I mean, he's got claws <laughs> for a reason, man. He's got those claws for a reason, and Charlie definitely showing those claws with a two and a one. The reset. I mean, that's why we saw Charlie understand that situation before it happened. He knew it's better to commit myself on the landing with the spacing on the ledge rather than to be off stage and to try to fight Falco, who has a much faster dare than I did. Mm -hmm. Wolf's dare is really good. We saw the disjoint there, but Falco has a faster dare. And that's something that Charlie did not want to interact with. So I can respect the spacing of the ledge rather than the challenge off the stage. This is game four here. Charlie at set point. Larry a little bit behind, but he starts off with a solid combo, and Charlie looking to even up with the grab with the up there. Mm -hmm. Charlie. And Larry actually still sticking to the Falco. Oh, wow, that was an offstage. No, that's not where he wants to be, but great angle coming in from Larry. And now they reset back to neutral, but Charlie got the grab. Kind of waiting him out, trying to get him with the feathers up. So, oh, he tried to get him with the, on the landing with the force smash. The one thing I am seeing about this, this stage choice here is because of the smaller flash zones, it's easier for both characters to exactly kill. Like, we are seeing that back kill kill oh, percent He did that twice. Like, he's done that twice, and that looks so clean. Like, I didn't know if that was confirmed before, but now I know. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Charlie, no. Charlie was good, but Larry oh, is not good. no. Larry's just throwing the game like they're throwing these dares. Oh no, he's just going on stage. Oh, he went for it. He got he got and, roared at that and, time. And there, that situation, the reason why I played out that way is because uh, Falco's forward is just a tad bit disjointed, so you're actually able to challenge the Wolf Flash that way. That's why we try to see Larry do that off stage and on stage how he appreciates the Wolf Flash in that situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's actually extremely disjointed. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a lot of moves can't really contest with it. Oh, and he got the back hit of the you I know mean, uh, he got the B reversed up B. It sent Larry back onto uh, the back of the stage. But now, fair. Oh, not gonna connect into anything else. And rapid jab coming in from Larry, and eh, from Charlie. How's Larry gonna close off this? Stock? It looks like he wants that up tilt. He wants that up tilt mm -hmm. so bad. <laughs> and it's pretty good too because in certain characters you can actually see that your opponent might have crossed up for you, and it calls out cross ups as well. So up tilt's pretty good for Rocco. Uh, Larry standing in point. This is what I'm talking about the situation right here. They respect each other's down here, and it's better to space yourself on the landing. That Charlie might be going for when he gets back on the platform. Yeah. Charlie looking forward to both kids connecting. Larry looking like he's on his tournament stock, though. This is a B. This is a, oh, no, no, not the what? angle. What? what was the angle? What was the, excuse me, sir. Like, yeah, yo, yo, what was this angle? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm real with you on that one. <laughs> and Charlie. I'm out, here, I'm out here, like, trying to sell these men on the good respect on the spacing here, but immediately just Larry's just like, oh, I'm going to go off. <laughs> I'm going to go straight up. He, <laughs> to, he really just tried to give us the early Rashido. Yeah. And the double SD coming in from Larry on the, not, not the most optimal game to do that. <laughs>